Dinah Turner from Disney. I'm just doing our generic interviews. So um, I won't be responding really to your comments. I'm just doing the questions. <laughs> all good, all good, all good. Okay. How would you describe the story of soul? Um, the story of soul at its, at its heart is, you know, it, it answers the question or poses the question, what makes you you? However, um, you know, between Joe Gardner and 22, I almost feel like soul could be the updated version of the Wizard of Oz because Joe Gardner is the person that had uh, a spark and had a flame and somehow his, his passion turned into a job and it turned burdensome and it wasn't, it wasn't happiness for him. And in Tina Fey's character, 22, um, you know, it's kind of, she's intellectual, but she uses uh, her cynicism and sarcasm as a mechanism of defense so that she doesn't have to feel and pursue a passion because she doesn't want to be disappointed. Um, and add to that, that it's happening in 2020 for a lot of us going through that same thing. Um, this film couldn't have come at a better time. So um, I guess on the surface, you could say, you know, what happens to a dream deferred? Like, is it too late to, to get that joy back, to get that spark back? And the answer is absolutely no, it's not too late. I think a lot of us quarantining um, have rediscovered our passions, you know, rediscovered the joys of reading books, rediscovered learning new languages, rediscovered different ways to cook food, anything that requires creativity. Because at the end of the day, like creativity is what's going to keep us all alive. Because if not, you know, we'll just be factory machines. Yeah. Why did you want to take part in this project? Um, well, when it was first pitched to me, uh, Pete Doctor and Kim Powers pitched this to me. I thought they were just asking me my opinion on like music placement, or I thought maybe possibility they want me to score this thing, or maybe I could be the drummer in the orchestra, or that sort of thing. And then at the end, the cherry on top was like, no, you're the character Curly. And, you know, of course, uh, in true Joe Gardner 22 form, I tried to matrix dodge it. Like, well, I, why me? Like, why don't you come up with a real name? Like, why would you want me? But they picked me up off the floor and and um, I slowly realized that like, I, I am Joe Gardner. Like I'm, I'm a person that still, even living my dream, I still have dreams and have yet to fulfill them. So, you know, what better way than to make my first foray into, well, this isn't my first major film, but in this fashion it is, uh, you know, the, the, the irony and the meta of it all is not lost on me that, yeah, I'm, I'm mirroring Joe Gardner, even in doing this film. So, um, you know, I, I'm, the timing is perfect. That's all I can say, the timing is perfect. Following up on that, who is Curly and what is his relationship with Joe? So my character Curly is one of Joe Gardner's first students. Um, the first year that Joe Gardner teaches, Curly is the kind of the, the, the prize student that sort of takes to the passion uh, that Joe sparks in him. Joe has a, an immense gift of inspiring other people and rarely using that inspiration for himself. So as an adult, Curly randomly sees uh, his, uh, his teacher and offers him a chance to, to pay it forward. And, you know, Curly's now a, a respected jazz musician, and there's an opportunity for his eighth grade teacher, Mr. Gardner, to um, be part of this jazz uh, quartet. And Curly's just paying it forward because Joe took a chance on him when he was just a 12 year older. So um, that's the role I play. <laughs>